Hello everybody, Todd Woodbridge here and as promised we're catching up with Australia's players and it's a real privilege, we haven't had the chance to speak to him for some time, to have Thanasi Kokonakis with us this time around. And Thanasi, great to have you. Tell us, where do we find you in isolation? First of all, a uh, pleasure to be here um, on a live call with you, Todd. Um, uh, I am in Adelaide and have been for some time now, so uh, yeah, back home for me. Talk about some time, but I also, I should have opened up too, saying very happy birthday too, because birthday, what, about five days ago, 24 years of age, it's, it's getting away a little quick on you. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy about it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> the 20s have, have come real quick. It feels like just yesterday I was 18 and um, I'm playing a full season, but yeah, this is this has come quick. So yeah, I'm, I'm almost earring on the side of 30 and I don't really like it, if I'm honest. Mate, you've got a long way to go before you, you let me tell you. Um, you talked about being in Adelaide for a long time now. Uh, how's your health? How's the body? Talk us through all of those things. Yeah, um, I feel feel pretty good um, right now. I'm back into physical activity, started hitting. Um, no real restrictions, which is good. Just trying not to uh, trying to rush it back. Uh, obviously, with this prolonged time out, I don't have to really force myself to come back. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough, you know. Obviously, Felt good coming into the start of the year, did a full pre-season. Then the last couple of days of pre-season, I just felt knackered. Um, you know, I, I told my trainers, like, yeah, it, it should be fine. You know, it's just the end of pre-season. I was like, yeah, it's probably, that's probably normal. But, uh, yeah, I had a light hit and I just felt like laying down, like, on the mat for, I don't know, I just didn't feel like getting up. And then, yeah, I got a blood test. My tonsils were messed up. And, yeah, got told I had glandular fever. So, uh, yeah, frustrating because I was hitting all the good tests, all the good markers, fitness testing wise in the off season, and then uh, yeah, season comes along and I'm uh, yet to get another false start, which is tough. Mm. How have you been able to handle that mentally? I guess this particular period, with everybody going into isolation, you've had a pretty rough trot. There's no doubt about that. Between um, your injuries, between what's just you've just gone through, how are you going to handle it? When, when we come back? Do you think that you're going to have it better than the rest of the players out there because you kind of know what to expect in this situation? Yeah, maybe. Usually when I've come back, it's always been from a, an injury. I've never really had a serious illness like the one at the start of the year because with glandular, it's tough because you don't know when you're starting to come back. You don't know if it's because you're still ill or because you you haven't really done any physical work, so you're not conditioned. So it's about that balance and there's no real test to say, okay, yeah, 100%, you're good to go. So, so that's what's tough. I, I've learned to come back from injuries before. Um, I think I know what it takes to come back, but again, this is something completely different for me. So um, I'll just take it step by step and, and try not to rush myself. Well, in isolation, um, I, I've been watching a bit of the stuff you've been doing, and I think you're getting ready for the AOE sports, taking <laughs> on others as yourself. That's quite unique. Yeah, yeah, probably not the best character to choose. I think I'm the worst <laughs> in the game. Got me messed up here. 56 speed. It's tough. Don't mind the forehand. Backhand. That hurts too. So, uh, probably the worst player in the game. That's fine. What else have you been up to um, at, at home there? Um, have you been able to hit any balls or anything like that in Adelaide? Yeah, I was hitting, I was starting to get sort of two days on, one day off for about an hour um, when I sort of had some sort of goal which I wanted to kind of come back from. It was going to sort of be ideally after French Open um, around Wimbledon time. That would have been ideal for me to come back from the start of the year. But obviously with this getting pushed back, I'm uh, kind of pushed back my hitting a little bit and taking it a bit slower and focusing more on my body. Um, yeah, so I've been doing some gym stuff, uh, a little bit of running. I actually started some, a little bit of light reading. I'm not a massive reader, but... Um, something to keep me occupied and um, yeah the thing I do a lot of is uh, PlayStation so getting real good at NBA 2K so if anyone wants to come with me just go ahead. <laughs> I'm a bit old for all of that stuff mate but anyway I might get into it you never know this might be the one time I get there. Now look let's be honest you've never been afraid to rip the shirt off and show off the rig and uh, I've seen some some footage of you out there pumping away in, in the backyard not much of an audience with you there though. No, it's, it's tough. It's a uh, it's lonely time, so I'll take what I can get. Um, man's best friend uh, is a dog, uh, and he was uh, outside, and um, it's, it's one spectator, so it's more than I've had in a while, so I'll take that. <laughs> what about you, mates? How you been keeping in contact with all your, your, your tennis buddies around the world? Because it's, it's a strange time. We've all got the technology, but who have you been keeping in touch with? Uh, probably the 
tennis. I, I keep up with all my sort of close mates from um, Australia and whatnot. But uh, the tennis players, the main one I've, I've caught up with, speaking to a little bit, is obviously Nick. Um, we we play a lot of PlayStation together, so we're always on headsets. Um, but that's probably our main form of communication. And uh, to be honest, we uh, we just send each other random stuff on Instagram to make us uh, laugh and just yeah take the piss out of some other people a little bit. But that's just how we do it. So what did you make of his new artwork? Because uh, that's yeah. that's quite a piece. Yeah, he didn't uh, he didn't die wondering with that one. Um, I've got a couple myself, but uh, yeah, he just committed. He had some time off, and he's got a. Uh, a tattoo artist that uh, wanted to help him out in uh, Canberra, a private guy that he uses. So, yeah, it's uh, obviously we're both massively into NBA, and he's with the Kobe stuff happening early in the year, which is brutal. Um, he he got that to remember him, and he got a bit of LeBron on there. It's um, tattoos are tough because as soon as they happen, it looks so aggressive because it's all real black, real dark at the start, um, and then when he gets time to fade and clear up, but it's a uh, it's pretty crazy artwork. So it's going to be interesting to see how it feels. Uh, it looked painful. There's, there's no doubt about that. I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I want a couple more, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you've got to be careful because uh, yeah, mum, mum, dad weren't happy about the first couple, so I'm trying to trying to keep a roof over my head for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we all do get back out on court, uh, let's hope that that's sooner rather than later. Uh, what are your hopes as as we get back there? Uh, it's, it's annoying to say because. It's been my same goal for the past sort of four or five years. I mean, I've never actually played a full schedule in my career. The closest I got was 18, and I played sort of three quarters of a schedule. Um, now, I think I'm a better player now than I am then, but I just haven't been able to show it. So I've had little results here and there when I have played. But again, for me, my main goal is to try and stay healthy and, and give myself a chance. You know, obviously, I need to work th work on things in my tennis game. Um, but I don't really know exactly what I need to work on unless I go out there and play and then kind of see because um, when I have played, I've done all right. So, the, yeah, the thing for me is just to try and stay out there as long as I can, um, look after my body and stay fit, and, um, yeah, just, just try and match it with these top guys and compete as much as I can. I think the ranking will take care of itself. Uh, made a few mistakes in the past. Um, some some was a bit unlucky. Some I probably could have done some better things injury-wise. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Every year I'm trying to learn a bit more, learn a bit more about my body, what works. So we'll see what happens. Well, when you do get back out on the road, I mean, the thing when you get to the tournaments, we all get chauffeur driven everywhere and transport and all of that. But when you're at home in this period, you've actually had a chance to to get your license and get a new car as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, a bit embarrassing. I got ripped for a long, long part um, that I didn't have my license. I told them, told people I had my license. I just couldn't drive legally. Um, so I had the big fat L plates on for a while, which was tough. Um, but yeah, finally I got my license. I felt like my uh, instructor, Al Kumar, uh, took me for a bit of a ride for a while. But uh, we got there in the end. And the final drive was one of the easiest things I've done. So happy I've got a bit more freedom now. Kia were, uh, were like, oh, I was lucky enough for Kia to send me a car. So um, I got a little little sport GT, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, um, you know it's tough when the highlight of your day is going for a drive around to the beach. So that's where things are at right now. Color of the car? Yeah, it's red. Red, dual exhaust, dual turbo. It's not bad. I actually, I've come from driving an old Hilux Ute, so with about 330,000 Ks on it. So this one, you don't even feel when you're speeding. So it's a little bit dangerous, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, it's an upgrade to the car. It's an, an upgrade uh, to the body when we get back out there for you. Your health's in good shape. We're very pleased to hear that. And uh, when we do get back out on the court, we look forward to, to watching you play. But uh, in the meantime, in, in the next few weeks, if you don't mind, we might catch up with you once again to see how you're going in isolation. And, and thanks for joining us. Pleasure, mate. Thank you.